Hello guys, in the last video we fetched some card items data and now let's render it. So let's start with card details screen and replace this text with flat list from React Native. Let's remove center. We don't want to do it. Data will be card items and render item. Let's create new function uh, render card item. Let's check what types should be list render item uh, card details item type. It okay, looks good. Render card item here. Let's return something. Maybe should be row. And let's start with render name. So item product name. Let's take a look. Okay. We able to render product names and there is a warning missing case for item so let's add k extractor so item let's return item product sq it should be unique identifier So looks good and what I want to add, I think I would like to add image but as I see we didn't fetch product image. Let's go to our Altair client plugin and find out how to get image. So let's go to product. And product has image URL, so we can do image URL here, send request, and you see it's appear, so we can use it. Let's do it at image. to our product query and also add it to our type looks good now we can render it here. So import image from React Native and URI will be item product image URL. Also let's add style width 80 and height. 80 resize mode contain let's take a look good it's render it
let's add some margin horizontal maybe 15 and probably padding vertically 10 uh, to make image looks a bit nicer let's add background to rubber you also add border radius okay looks much better let's wrap our name with another view and what else we wanna show here probably price and quantity so quantity we can do QGI item product oh, sorry not product just item quantity and for price we can do item prices price value and currency let's add some padding left maybe 10 and maybe padding around okay let's add horizontal 10 and padding vertically 5 Okay, I like it more. What else I wanna add? We have a lot of items, so probably we will need remove item from the cart. Let's add some button. Maybe similar to what we add. In our header card button on card item press Just empty function for now. Card. Let's rename this trash. Okay, cool. It. Now we have this button, this trash icon. Mm, maybe it will be nice to center it and align on the right side so let's try center 
and maybe flex here. So now it's nicely aligned to the right. And what else I want to do here? Maybe add some uh, bottom container which will contain totals. So let's add another view with text. Let's make the ground white. I would like to have insets from use safe area insets. Padding bottom will be in sets bottom okay I think it's not work like this let's uh, oh sorry I did it in wrong place okay it's not working just let add style padding bottom In sense bottom. Okay, better. Maybe add more pad in here. Okay, but we have totals, but we don't have actually the value for it. If we go to our response object, there is items, but nothing about total so let's take a look mm. looking for cart here we can have items and prices Let's adjust grand total for now, and it should be under items, prices, grand total, currency, and value. Let's add it here. And also to the types string and values number and maybe make separate type uh, 
card details detail totals looks good and let's create the state totals set totals new state For now, init value is now. And set totals data Data card prices. Let's return totals. So it will be similar structure, so I just copy it, totals, grand total, Let's actually render it only in case we have totals. So let's check if totals not known. Okay, looks like we did broke something. Let's take a look logs. Uh, error. Cannot query field prices on type query. Looks like we did mistake in our query. Yeah, I in surprises outside of cart which is not correct of course and let's take a look again yeah you see it's rendered Mm, maybe make 
text a bit bigger maybe like this and that's it oh no no that's not it also I want to add some uh, item separator and then maybe just a view is style background color RGB this black with transparency mm, I want hate one and width maybe one hundred person and it should be outside the row and maybe let's move margin horizontally here okay looks good also I would like to render not render last one so this grid is last will be top items lens minus one equal index and here we can check if not is last then we can render separator we actually can use uh, separator iter separator component but I want to wrap it with our animated appearance component so in this case solution with separated component in flat list will not work because it will be static and we won't animate it okay you see it nicely animates I think it looks quite nice last thing uh, show vertical scroller false I don't want to show it yes link fix and that's it We'll see you in the new videos.